Mm. At 3 o'clock, we got the Music City Bowl, Tennessee, which is playing Purdue on ESPN. And this is one of my favorite, this is one of my favorite games, not only of the day, but of the entire year. Um, I love this game. I love this matchup. You got Purdue coming off a year that not everyone thought they were going to be this good, right? Um, a lot of Purdue fans probably didn't think they were going to be this good. They had a tough schedule. They drew Michigan State and Ohio State from the other side. And they ended up beating two five top five teams in Michigan State. And Iowa, obviously, they didn't finish the year in the top five. But still, the Michigan State win definitely holds weight. And the Iowa weight one still, in my opinion, does hold a good amount of weight. Um, uh, the reason a lot that the Tennessee really had a huge turnaround under Josh Heupel's first year um, and a lot of that reason is for their new quarterback, Hendon Hooker. When did I become such a gooey romantic? Uh, he ended up going 180 through for 261 times for, or completed 180 of those for a 69% completion percentage. <laughs> nice. Uh, Jabari Small, the running back, ended up having 114 carries for 612 yards and 8 touchdowns. Um, and Cedric Tillman ended up having 57 catches for 931 yards. Purdue's quarterback, Aiden O'Connell, uh, went 289 of 393 for a 73.5% completion percentage and threw for 3,170 yards, 23 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. Uh, King Doru ended up having 125 carries for six, 488 yards, 2 touchdowns. A lot of their game did not come on the ground, uh, but they used King Doru a lot in the passing game as well, which is why... He is a helpful asset on this team. David Bell through the air and having 93 catches for 1,286 yards and six touchdowns. Um, these teams have only played each other once before, and uh, Purdue ended up winning that matchup 29-24 in nine, actually 27-30, 27-22 um, in 1979 is when they won that one. Uh, Purdue Tennessee is 29 and 24 in board games all time, and Purdue is. Ten and nine. Both these teams over five hundred, which is good. And well, compared to a lot of football teams, it is really good to be over five hundred. But uh, I think this is, this game is really fascinating, simply because you have a Purdue team and a Tennessee team that have been surprisingly good this year. Both these teams are rebuilding towards the future. I th I'm sure Purdue hopes to have a Big Ten championship in this near future. I think Tennessee hopes to compete for a national championship in a couple of years with their new coach, Josh Heupel. I think this game is going to be really fascinating. Last time Purdue played in the Music City Bowl, they got kind of crushed by Auburn. I don't think that's going to be the case this year. I think Purdue pulls it out here. Give me the Boilermakers to win this one and obviously cover since they're underdogs.